Okay, now we're just putting together the kit. So these are some heat sinks which help with heat dissipation and they came with the uh, little enclosure kit. So these are just sticky back, no paste. And they sit on top of the chips. And they're there purely to absorb a little bit of heat and then radiate it off. So the big square one goes on this silver guy. Get a good snug connection. And the longer one goes on this longer chip. Peel off the back. And then there's two others. One's a little bigger than the other one. This one goes with this chip. This one goes with that chip. So we'll get the slightly bigger one first. Big sausage fingers, tiny work. is the last one. It goes here. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is hook up the fan. The ground is the seventh pin along the back. These are the GPIO pins. They're multi-function pins use a whole bunch of things, but they also have a little bit of power in here. So now get the actual enclosure. Let me pop the bottom out. Here's where the SD card goes. Over here is where all the other ports are. And then here are the little ports. So it's going to sit in here just like this. Shoots down there all the way. And then this guy came with a bunch of little tiny screws and then some longer screws. Again, it's part of the enclosure kit. So the little screws go on the board. The bigger screws are for the fan. Screw them in. I don't want it super tight, I just want it to be snug and not wiggling around. little parts of big meat hook hands. Okay. Looks good. So now I can put this on. Move the fan through. Like that. See, there's my USB-C port. Here is my audio port, which is where my radio hangs off. Ethernet, hardwired Ethernet. And then this is where my USB adapter will go. I can put him in right now. Right like that. 
put them on one of the high speed ones, the blue ones. And then my USB card will go right there. I'm not going to put that in yet because I need to format it. Okay, now we do the fan. So the print faces down. So I kind of figure out the orientation of this. And this color sits on like that. So I want this to be like that. Okay. This one uses the longer screws that came with the enclosure kit. So the Raspberry Pi just comes with the Raspberry Pi board. The enclosure kit comes with all the little extras, which I like because it makes it so that I think it's going to last longer and not be as abused versus a Raspberry Pi just sitting in the wild. Which I do have one doing that, so my desk serves another purpose. So that's the fan. So now I kind of rotate this in. And the top just clips into place. Like that. There's a gap for airflow. But here we got this is our Raspberry Pi. See? Not much to it to us. Oh, we forgot the most important part. The little feet on the bottom. Pull the sticker feet off. There we go. Sticker feet. This one. Ta da! Basic assembly complete. And look at that. Look at those feet work. That's not sliding off for just any reason.